Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm back with another video. This is going to be a different video, not the usual video that I would usually post. In the past three months, I have noticed that my internet speed has been, uh, my internet speed on my Android devices have been slacking a bit, quite too much actually, to the point that it would be really annoying and get me wondering if my internet is not good or my uh, router that I have that I have it's uh, defective or not but now I had time to look into it and three days ago I found some fix for it and I've been using it for the past three days and so far I, ha I had no issues with it so I decided to share it with you guys that way anybody having this issue can fix it immediately and uh, I tested it for three days I use my phone a lot all my Android devices in my house, we everybody uses them a lot, and everybody has noticed improvements. And by everybody, I mean just me and my wife, really. <laughs> uh, but uh, the main reason, though, I discovered this problem was some of my family members would come to my house. I thought it was normal, you know, it'll take forever to load. I was like, well, I live with it now, so whatever. But then everybody else that has Android devices, I mean, uh, Apple. Apple devices and then also the PCs in my house work fine so I figure I have to fix this and uh, after looking around the internet for a while I found it apparently something's wrong with uh, after the update with Lollipop the Lollipop update for Androids it messes up with the DNS IPv6 I'm not sure what it is but I fixed it so whatever so you have two options. One, you can go to the Android app store, the Play Store, and download anything that would change your DNS. This one I found, which I don't recommend doing this, just, just to be clear, this is an easy fix, not recommended. It will work, but I do not recommend it. But if you are lazy, Fucking do it. It's your own phone. Your own. It's your your own data. Anyways, so you'll download this, install it. Which, as you can see, I did install it in one of my phones to 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 see if it works, which it did work. What this does is it creates a VPN and changes your DNS set, and it sets it to the Google DNS for your phone to use the Google DNS servers which are down here, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 that's four times eight, okay? I mean, that's eight. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna confuse you guys. <laughs> I'll put it in the description. But you change this, that's what it does for you. You don't have to do anything, but it creates a VPN and all your data will go through the VPN and you don't know if that's safe or not. It could be safe, it could not be safe. Who knows? And the second one, which is the one that I would recommend highly to everybody to try, would be changing the DNS, uh, the DNS servers manually on your router, wireless router, which I did. So I have the Netgear uh, Nighthawk R7000, which is a really good one. You want to go to a, you sh you sh uh, depends on what kind of router you got, but the, most of them are relatively uh, the same. There shouldn't be a huge issue. And look, there's an update. I'm, I'm not going to update because everything is working fine. Uh, that's just me. I used to update everything right away and then issues start appearing because of that. But if everything is working for you, I, I don't see why updating. That's up to you. But you want to go to settings, well, make sure you're in advance because I don't think this should show up in basics. Go in advance, then you go to internet setup and then you just want to find this one domain name server which is DNS address and then you'll click on the use these DNS servers and then you'll set them up yourself which is going to be the Google DNS servers 8.8.8 .8 and the second one is going to be 8.8.4.4 pretty simple straightforward and then you save it and just to be sure, you might want to restart your router. I didn't restart it because I don't give a shit. It just worked for me. Done. 
but it will restart for most routers. I think they will restart after you do any changes to it, like any major changes. Actually, I think, yeah, it will restart regardless. But you might want to restart it again, just in case. All your devices forget the 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 wireless uh, connection on your phone or any tablet or whatever you got. And that should fix your problem. Hopefully it fixes it. If it doesn't, let me know. I'm kind of, I'm really curious too. And then maybe I can help you. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this helps.